Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about installing a wireless adapter in Kali Linux using VirtualBox. So the big caveat with installing a wireless adapter inside of a Kali Linux installation, regardless if it's VirtualBox, VMware, or just a physical install, you have to have a chipset on that wireless adapter that is compatible with Kali Linux. And not all chipsets are created equal. There's also another caveat in which we have to ensure that the adapter that we're going to install for pen testing or hacking a wireless network is capable of packet injection and can be configured for monitoring mode. Make sure before you spend your hard earned money on a wireless adapter for Kali Linux that it is compatible with Kali and that it has the right chipset for packet injection and for monitoring mode. There are plenty of Kali forums and information on the internet about which wireless adapter is best suited for Kali Linux, so make sure you do your research. Now for this demonstration I'll be using VirtualBox and I'll be using a virtual install of Kali. So the first thing we have to do is ensure that our wireless adapter has been installed onto our host machine and it is working properly. Check to see if your wireless adapter is currently installed properly onto your host machine. Just go on over to your network connection and just click on it. And if you have a wireless adapter that is enabled, you'll be able to see what wireless networks are available in your immediate area. For the record, my host machine is using Windows 10. So now we have a wireless adapter that is currently installed onto my host machine. Now for this demonstration, I'll be using the Panda PAU05 wireless adapter. Now this seems to work quite well with Discovery Networks. Now it doesn't go out for a long range, but if you want to remain stealthy while being in a public Wi-Fi area, this little adapter is not intrusive. Now the next thing we have to do is ensure that our installation of VirtualBox has the extension pack installed for that particular version. So I've already done that. I've installed the extension pack and now we're going to go up and enable USB support for version 3.0. To do this, I'm just going to right click on my installation of Kali Linux and go to settings. Once I'm up inside of settings, I'm going to click on USB. And here I'm going to enable USB controller and here I'm going to select the radio button for USB 3.0. I'm going to click OK to that. Now the next thing we have to do is add our wireless adapter as an additional adapter up inside of our VirtualBox settings. I'm going to go to network. Here I'm going to click on adapter 2, adapter 3, or adapter 4 tab, whichever one you want. I'm going to select Adapter 2 for this demonstration. I'm going to ensure that the box is checked for Enable Network Adapter. Attached to, we're going to be using a bridged adapter. Now underneath here, where it says Name, you have to pull down this window, and you have to select the adapter that you want to add. In this case, it's going to be a wireless LAN card. In your description, for the adapter that you might have to add may differ, but it should be able to be determined that you do have a wireless adapter from your selection options. Once you've done that, just go ahead and click OK. And now we're ready to fire up our Kali installation and get to the desktop and finish the installation of this wireless adapter. And now I'm going to log on as root. So now that we have added our wireless adapter into the settings for Kali, we need to add or enable that USB wireless adapter up inside of our Kali machine. Now to do this, we're going to go to Devices. We're going to go down here to USB, and we're going to find our wireless adapter. Now it may not have the actual name of the wireless adapter you bought, but it will have the name of the chipset that it is using. In this case, my Panda PAU05 wireless adapter is using a chipset by Randlink. So I'm going to go ahead and just click it one time. And that's going to enable the USB wireless adapter 
up inside of my Kali installation. And we can confirm this by going back into Devices, going back into the USB, and you'll see that there is now a check mark next to my wireless adapter. So the next thing we need to do is check our wireless adapter to see if it is actually being detected by Kali and what chipset it is currently using. To do this, let's just open up a terminal. And to see if our wireless adapter is actually present, and to see if our wireless adapter is actually present up inside of our Kali installation, we can type in the command airmon-ng. Now, we can just hit enter, and it finds our wireless adapter. Now, if you don't see that wireless adapter, that means that Kali did not have a chipset for that wireless adapter, and it can't communicate with it. That's why it's important for you to go out and do your research and find a wireless adapter that has a chipset that is compatible with Kali Lining. We're given some important information here and primarily what we like seeing is the name of the wireless adapter or the name that has been assigned to our wireless adapter which is WLAN0. We also get some information about the driver that is being used to communicate with this wireless adapter and the name or the information about the chipset. Now this next step that we're going to take is going to tell us whether or not our wireless adapter is capable of packet injection and monitoring mode. So I've typed in airmon-ng space start and the name of the adapter which we got from the previous command. So the name of my adapter is WLAN0, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And give it a second to come up, and it will give you some information about whether or not your adapter has been placed into monitor mode. Now, if it's placed into monitor mode, that means that packet injection is also working. Now, the information that you get from here is also important. Other than the fact that we are now in monitor mode, if you look over here, your wireless adapter has now been given a new name, WLAN0MON. That's because we have placed it into monitoring mode. We're now ready to begin scanning for any wireless networks that are in our vicinity. So to do this, I'm going to use AeroDump. So I've typed in AeroDump-NG space the name of the wireless adapter that is in monitor mode that we want to use to scan for those wireless networks. Now in this case again, the name of my monitor is WLAN0MON. Once we have all that configured correctly, just go ahead and hit enter. And in just a moment, it's going to come up and it's going to give you all the information about the wireless networks in your area. And so in this short video presentation, we got to see how we go about installing a wireless adapter into a virtual installation of Kali Linux using VirtualBox. So the important things that you have to remember are to have Kali updated and you have an installation of the Kali extension pack for that particular version of Kali installed, that you've done your research and you found the right wireless adapter for your situation, and that your wireless adapter that you do purchase is capable of being compatible with Kali, doing packet injection, and being configured for monitoring mode. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about installing a wireless adapter in Kali Linux using VirtualBox. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about any of the information that was presented to you in this short video, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.